some of us haven't seen you since the, uh, you got the Brad Brad the Beal Day um, honor, and you weren't able to be there. Just uh, we saw you on the, the jumbotron, but I guess what what was that whole thing like for you? Uh, it's amazing. You know, uh, one for Mayor Bowser and the DC Council. You know, you know, fit for that. That's you know, that's something I don't I don't take it for granted. You know, a uh, big part of who I am is what I do off the floor, and I take a lot of pride in that. And so. Uh, to be recognized for that, it means the world, but it doesn't, it's not my reasoning of doing what I do, you know, it still, you know, motivates me, it's still a lot of work that we can do and give back to the community, uh, but it's, it was an awesome day, for sure. I know you guys are opening on the road, but how much are you looking forward to the, the home opener and being able to get out in front of the fans of Washington in your 11th season all with the same team? No, uh, it's, it's great, you know, it's, it's super exciting. Uh, we have a really good bunch of guys here, good, good group. Uh, you know, we get it going in you know, two days. So that's, that's our first mindset is making sure we take care of every game, a game at a time. You know, we're going to take care of Indiana and then come home and uh, you know, be ready for our fans. But it's going to be an exciting year for sure. Can you describe just the, the energy that you guys have when it's now the games that actually really be coming? Uh, I mean, time will tell. You know, we, we're definitely locked in. We're focused. Um, but, you know, when the lights come on, we got to have that same carry over into the game. So, you know, uh, preseason is over with. Now we got to hit the ball rolling. Jordan Goodwin said he's known you since he was in, like, sixth grade. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like seeing him get the two-way contract? Uh, it, was, it was amazing, man, because he's a true worker. You know, he has a, a heart of a dog. You know, and you can't teach that. You can't give it out. You know, you're born with it. You know, he had that since he was young, and I've always seen it. And, you know, this is just a testament to who he is and the, and the hard work that he puts in, and he constantly puts in. So I'm super proud of him. You know, it's just... Just the message I continue to preach to my, my AAU program and all the, the youth that I try to reach out to is, you know, every, anything is possible, you know, if you just put your mind to it and put the work in and take advantage of your opportunities, you know, and that's all he's doing. In what ways, if any, is Wes um, different this year? Uh, more confident, I guess. More confident in his role. Uh, more confident in uh, knowing that this is his team, knowing that, you know, he has to put down his authoritative... Um, I guess mindset and kind of what he wants us to get out of us, and he's been doing a hell of a job of that. So like, you can definitely see his, his aura is a little bit more different this year for sure. You just talked about being more efficient in workouts and in practices. How is that showing up? Uh, it's just a consistency thing on a daily basis, you know, making sure we get our work in, uh, taking care of our body with our trainers, uh, getting our lift in with our strength coaches, making sure we're properly moving before we even touch the floor, and then when we get on the floor, uh, you know, we're, we're with our coaches and we're, we're getting game shots, game reps, and really doing things that um, are analytical based in some ways. You know, our three point percentages, our shot selections, and making sure we actually shoot game shots and shots we take and, and try to better those too. So uh, everything is with a purpose. You know, I think that's what I love for sure a lot about this year, and that's how you teach it. You know, we got to continue to rep it out every day. Brad, what's um, Monte like personality wise? Uh, he's real down to earth, he's real cool, he's laid back. Um, to himself, but he's a he's a great guy. I mean, he's very, uh, very easily, um, very easily adaptable person. And uh, I mean, he's he's tremendous. I mean, he's very selfless, and uh, he's been great for sure. He says he's kind of one of those guys who like randomly a bunch of dudes know in the league. Did you have you met him before he got here? Or was this your first? Yeah, I've known I've known Monte before I got here for sure. I mean, he's just. You know who he is. He's a pro's pro. You know, he comes in, he does his work, um, he does his job. And uh, everybody, yeah, everybody knows who he is, especially, you know, his peers. So um, it was good to be able to know him before he came, and same with Will. Um, but just to have some familiarity with some guys has, has definitely helped the transition. How are you feeling after a little bit of sickness? Uh, better, better for sure. Uh, it's good to be able to get up, get up and down in New York. And, just get my win back. Had a few practices too, so uh feel better for sure. Have any of the young guys stood out to you in training camp or anything that they've done that maybe looks better from last year? Uh, I mean, Denny's been in the last few practices. He's, he's constantly evolving and better, accepting the defensive challenges. Uh, Rui's been spectacular um, all preseason, um, all summer. You know, I think the work that he's put in is really starting to really show him pretty often. Uh, and Johnny's constantly getting better. You know, we're staying in his ear and, and just telling him, you know, take his time, be patient. But, you know, we're throwing a lot of stuff at him, but he's done a great job of gra gra gravitating towards it and, and grasping everything, too. So, um, you know, it's a, 
it'll be a little work in progress, but uh, he's he's in great position to where he can learn from a lot of guys. And coach will throw him in the fire sometime too. So um, it's good that he has that, that mindset that he's not scared. He goes out and competes. Uh, and that's what I love about all our young guys. You know, everybody, every last one of them, Jay Good, everybody, everybody's very competitive um, to the standpoint to where we're pushing the next man, but we're not competing against the next man, if that makes sense. What do you think the benefit is team-wise to start the season off on the road in comparison to a home game? Uh, I don't give a damn. Sorry, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I haven't played since February, so I'm, I'm ready to play. And you know, great teams win on the road, so uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, we gotta we gotta get it done. We don't make the schedules. So uh, wherever we go, wherever we play, we gotta lace them up. They lace them up, put their clothes on just like we do. So gotta be ready. With, with new personnel, how could your role change offensively, if slightly? You'll see. <laughs> Fair enough. How uh, similar was your injury to, to Jalen Brown? I have no idea about Jalen Brown's injury, so I won't, I won't. I won't talk on that. I, don't know. I have no idea. Are there any games you got circled on the calendar this year? <laughs> no. No. All eighty-two. <laughs> You, you mentioned having not played since February. Uh, I mean, you've been in some preseason games, but yeah. how kind of excited are you to get this started? Super, 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 super. Um, super excited. I'm just excited to hoop. I haven't hooped in a long time. Granted, I've hooped in preseason, but you know what I mean. Like, I haven't, I haven't been out there. So I'm excited about it, excited of what we have, and, and just making it, all, making it all click. Tommy's mentioned a few times that he's noticed how people kind of underrate you uh, just because you, you know you missed the end of last season. Have you have you felt slighted by any of that? No, no. It's been like that my whole career. No change now. Been slighted even when I was healthy, so it doesn't matter. You describe. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> you describe the focus and practice. I guess how can you see that compared to you know? Your long career that yes, everybody's locked in right now. Uh, it's it's definitely different. It's it's a definitely a different focus and a mindset from last year and even years previous. You know, we have a lot of talent in here. There's a lot of versatility, but the biggest thing I, I harped on it earlier this year is just the amount of kind of vets we have. We have like a, a really good vet presence. Like nobody's you're 11 like me, but we still got Taj. You still got KP, Akuz. You got guys who actually have years and have experience and know what to do, will, everything, uh, same thing. So it's it's easy that we can just jump in and coach can put in his terminology. We know what it is and just jump into it, you know, and it's not like a we're sitting down teaching, teaching, teaching. You know, we're able to just kind of roll the ball out and get things going. Uh, but at the same time, we have that accountability factor within everybody, and, and I think that's a beautiful thing. Is it, is it easy to live with results if good process creates it? 100%. You know, it's, it's a matter of Michael Jordan has the best quote ever. You know, I don't I don't fear anybody because I trust the work that I put in. You know, and it's, it's kind of the same thing. You know, you don't, the results will be what they are, you know, and you live with them based off of the work that you put in. If you trust the work that you put in, you trust your process, you trust coaching the system, you buy into it as a team, you know, you live with the results, good or bad. You know, and obviously you make your adjustments if things don't go your way, but, you know, you got to give it a chance to work first before throwing in the top. What are going to be the key ingredients to making sure that the defense is good, is as good as it can be, and then maybe we're missing from last year? Me and Coos. Me and Coos. Once we, we have to have the mindset that we got to defend on a nightly, uh, we're going to have the majority of the toughest toughest jobs, guarding guys. So we got to make sure it starts with us, too. Obviously, the point guard's had his snake and take, make sure he's up into the ball. But it's once me and Coos are dialed in and locked in defensively, we'll be, that sets the tone for everybody else.